Give thanks, give thanks, give thanks. Once again, we are just sharing information according to our did I say, due diligent search and from our perspective. Now, we are here on this island now called Jamaica. We call it Zamayaka. Yeah, other people call it Zamaica. All kind of variations. But it's now called Jamaica, a formerly British colony, in which the British still maintain dominant presence here. So we have this document <coughs> was supposed to be a Jamaica Constitution Order in Council, which we would say the so-called laws that are here derive from this document. Now the document said it is a statutory instrument. You see, it's a 1962 number 1550 Caribbean and North Atlantic Territories. Caribbean and North Atlantic Territories. Listen to the narrative, people. And this legal document is script in dog Latin. Now it says the Jamaica, and it's a constitution in a brackets. We can read it. The Jamaica Order in Council, or uh, once bracket is there, according to the standard grammatical, you know, rules. That means that the word constitution would be non existent there. However, we won't let that be the issue. We're going to talk about the fact that this is a statutory instrument, and as such, I can say we have a sanctioned independence yeah i'm never gonna skip to you know i'm like for do my thing this way we are talking about sanction independence based on coercion and that definition would say obeying law because it is a law and this is what's happening now now we have others who come before us but ask the question, just like how we are, we are, are going to ask this question. What is the nature of the force, that is not power, of the force underlining statutory or legal authority? What is the nature of the force underlining statutory or legal authority? Now we say, if social science evidence shows that moral values and legitimate judgments, when we say legitimate judgments, we are talking about, you know, valid, validity, you know what I mean, are the two central factors shaping people's everyday law-related behavior. Let's put it this way if I highlight it, you know, law-related behavior. Now, if we are talk about moral values and legitimate judgments, then we are talk about it as a correct functions according to nature. However, when we look at the statutory instrument. which is an order or a decree from a foreign it has a authority or a foreign force or them have military about them. Yeah man, so this document again I put it on the screen. Statutory instrument and this is uh, the Jamaica Order in Council, 1962, the Jamaica Constitution, in brackets, Order in Council, 1962, laid before Parliament. I'm quite sure it's not no Parliament on this island. 
I have to go down a little bit so the people ones and ones can see what we are talking about. See? It's a first schedule order in council revoked by this order. Which order? The second schedule. Now it's called the Constitution of Jamaica. <coughs> and here it is again. We've got through this already, you know, but let's do it again. Jamaica Constitution Order in Council, Dog Latin, 1962, at the Port of Buckingham Palace. So this is a foreign location, my people. Buckingham Palace, when I, you know, one book. What would I ever show if we have a Buckingham High Stream location here anymore? Remember, overseas would have Buckingham, you know, orange juice. We'll probably have Buckingham orange juice here still. But what I'm saying is, this Buckingham Palace is not here on the island. It's not even in this American hemisphere. 23rd day of July, 1962. And here it says, the Queen's Most Excellent Majesty in Council. Her Majesty, by virtue and the exercise of the powers. What powers? They might usurp all kind of powers. In that behalf, by subsection 1 of section 5 of the West Indies Act, 1962. West Indies. It must say West Africa. You understand? It not say the Maroons. It's a West Indies, meaning it applied to the West Indians, which is we as a people, us. But we don't know it. And we don't want them kind of designation there. <coughs> because we choose to give it to the Persians. We are come out of a place called Barat. Where them change and change the name in the 1940s and call it India. Just like how them change the name in the 1940s and give Israel to that set of people who say they are Jews but are not. Who are actually Germans who mingle with the fallen ones. Those are the same ones where them call the synagogue of Satan. Them are the ones where run all of these vaccines and all of these world health, whatever, these are the very same foreign people. And this sanctioned independence act and constitution are derived from these very same foreign people. Yeah, man, at the root it, you'll find the synagogue of Satan. Believe it or not. Why? Because I'm proving to my people who can comprehend that we have a statutory instrument and we're going to look at the definition of a statutory instrument. We have it and says statutory instrument as defined by English law. Now, it means a rule, order, or administrative regulation having force of law promulgated, which is published by the Crown in Council, a minister, a local authority, a corporation, or as a body under power delegated, delegated, entrusted by parliament. So listen again, people. The statutory instrument for you of this is why we call it a sanction independence we have. And what is, does sanction mean? Sanction mean right here. Threaten penalty, a threatened penalty for disobeying a law or rule. A range of sanction aimed at de deterring insider abuse. That is just the, ex the, um, the example in a sentence. A range of sanctions aimed at deterring insider abuse. Now, the second definition would say official permission or approval for an action. And then the use in a sentence would be like, he appealed to the bishop for his sanction. Now, this is why we said this statutory instrument, as it is, you know what I mean, is in fact a sanction. You understand? Statutory instrument, 
statutory instrument. What's a statutory instrument? This is where they are. It's a rule, it's an order like what we say, or a decree. Order is synonymous with decree or administrative regulation. Remember, certain agencies are statutory instrument. This foreign construct used to create this agency called the government of Jamaica. They use this specific statutory instrument to create the agency called the government of Jamaica. Put it that way. And then, as everything else, there is two sides to it. You have the governmental side, where the finances and all of that are governed from out of Washington, D.C., where them have the corporate construct as is. And them have this formal construct where them start with. This is a starting point. So when them say you get independence, there is no such thing. So them have present a statutory instrument, which is a sanction. And then the sanction is based on coercion. And what, what, what is the definition of coercion? It is a noun. And it says, the practice of persuading someone to do something by using force or threat. No different from the notice of recognizance. Them give you a notice of recognizance by way of coercion. Remember, me tell the lady, say, if you don't sign it, all kind of things will happen to you. You will not get out of that dungeon. So here we are expressing that, listen, people. We have been deceived, and we're still being deceived. And as far as I check, we now have nobody who represent it this way. I mean, I use them very own information with them about here, and very definitions. What is an agency? We probably can touch upon that too. Let me see if I have it up here. I don't want to spoil up things at the moment. What is an agency? All right. The State Administrative Procedures Act define agency. Agency. Any department, any board, any bureau, any commission, any division, any office, any council, any committee, or officer of the state or a public benefit corporation or public authority, at least one of whose members is appointed by the governor general, authorized by constitutional laws to make rules or to make final decision in adjudicatory proceedings. We've got through this already, you know, but we don't mind. And then it said, but shall not include, and it lists the governor general. And then it go back and say, agencies in legislative and judicial branches. Watch me now, no? It's all agencies, and they're all agents. That's the point I'm trying to make. They're all agents. And these agents from the agencies, because of how their system was created and constructed, they, they, they can only coerce you. You know what I mean? Under threat and duress. This is what they do. And they say, you have to obey law because it is the law. But what is the nature of the force underlining these statutory or legal authority? I know the agencies, just like the government of Jamaica, which was created by a statutory instrument, which is a sanctioned, you know, instrument. Meaning, you have to deal with it under threat. It's a threatened penalty for obeying a law or rule. And remember, agencies, especially the statutory agencies, create legal or develop legal standard. Alternatively, use are called rules and regulations. So these rules and regulations, you just say get the force of law. When them publish it formally, like you know them gazette and all of these things, 
However, if you do not consent, you just do not consent. And when you do not consent, then what's going on? It's enslavement. This is why we say we don't consent to none of this. Not even when a constitution apply to us. The only part of the constitution is where the contract make provisions. And that is a charter. Charter is synonymous with contract. The charter of fundamental rights and freedom. That's all we can say. You know, we have any interest in God that is there to secure and guarantee your inherent dignity as man. Them call it human rights. That's what I'm call it. Your fundamental human rights. So the charter of fundamental rights and freedom is there to secure and guarantee your inherent dignity. And when them violate it, that's where the contract is being breached. So when I get carried away with all I want to do with you know, agency, may I say, whatever on the agency do, it shall be held by the Charter of Fundamental Rights which is in place to secure us as man and woman here. These are the subtleties. These are the clarity of the agency because of their capacity of no interest in law. Their only concern is their legality. So we have to rebut it with information. That's all we can do. Yeah, man, we have to just rebut it with the basic information we are bring forward. When them talk about, well, let's define promulgate. is actually promote, to promote or make widely known an idea or a cause, like when the agency are promote them, you know, information about their, it has a corporation or a group or association. And then it's a formally made public. So that's promulgate. So when I say the word, you know, the statutory instrument, it's a rule or the administrative regulation having force of law, having force of law. Promulgated by Crown in Council. So all of these people where you say, them are represent that Crown. So they are Crown agents. So when we say Crown agents, it's not rude or disrespectful. They are Crown agents, my people. They are foreign to us. They represent a foreign construct, a foreign authority, a foreign force. This is why we have to hold true to the Most High Creator and that specific power. Yeah, our great spirit, our great spirit. Yeah, man. Then we look on independence. Let's define it. It's a noun. It's a, the fact or state of being independent. That may explain nothing. It's a Argentina gained independence from Spain in 1816. Argentina. Listen, Argentina, they're not the Americas. And the people them where I said them gain independence in Argentina, the federal people them will come from all over the world. Czechoslovakia, all kind of East and West Germany, all about them migrate to Argentina. So whatever independence them get, it's only political. This is what them use and really, you know, bamboozle with their political system. And then them say, we delegate our authority politically. I did not do that. I cancelled my delegation when with the voters' cancellation and returned their voters' ID. I've done those things. I've renounced it. Whatever citizenship with the government of Jamaica, I know there is dual citizenship according to the laws that's there on the books. So once me remove myself from the corporate body politic with Andrew Holiness and his cabinet, then naturally you fall under what is known as the Commonwealth. It's still there. And I have a Jamaica passport from 1980s that can validate this statement and this claim. So when them have me in a them so-called legal process, you know, them system. What I'm really I do is try to, you know, discredit or silence this truth. 
where we present evidence on this platform where it's open to rebuttal because we are here to learn. That means that if you come and can rebut the information where I bring, then I'm not going to fight you. I'm not going to say, hey, you're wrong or I disagree with you. Present the information and show me that there is no legal entity. Show me that when we say this thing says statutory instrument, it have a total different definition than what we're expressing. You understand? Show me where this foreign construct can claim any kind of authority, control, or jurisdiction over this people here who choose not to consent or subject to the will of any foreign force out there. It's no different when them crucify the first so-called Christians or are they the Gnostics or the very first people who used to chant to the most high creator of nature. Every single one of them get persecuted. People not highlight these things. All of the people them want to say, them are talk about, you know, the Bible as some kind of apostle. Just read how atrocious for them life end is. Probably is only Paul them would have said. If I'm not mistaken. Probably live out in days after them try it. Boil him in a oil, but uh, lock him in a certain places, but he kind of survive these days. But what do the research? According to what is written, I don't know. Understand? So, what we are trying to say, you know, you have a dark force out there, a demonic force out there, which derived from the synagogue of Satan. Yeah, man, call them say Satan and the father of all lies. That means anytime me decide to tell a lie, me know say Satan are far with me. So if me ever tell a lie, better me shut my mouth and say, get behind me, Satan. I will buke you. I won't even speak if me have to go tell a lie. The father of lie, they say, a Satan. And we hear about even the very bad. That's why I like the Bible. Because the Bible, I tell you about the ones them out there. The Bible said the earth is already out of course. So all I want to see come and say them come to save one and come to do all kind of things. So we watch them closely. Watch them closely. Truly, not just make them words seduce you. Because I love test the spirit. And that the most I said, test the spirit. So you have some people that say, yo, send some money and we can do all kind of things. And when you present the money, you know, where you pay for, you know, to get done. And you wonder what go on. And you still be patient to say, boy, probably, you know, there's a big old list around there or something else. But these are the things where ones have to be mindful out there. The false pretenders, the false prophets, the false gods. From the first, there is a power that says, I am, and there shall be no other. Then why we are looked all about the place? I don't have them interested. I keep it simple. I keep it simple. And again, if social science evidence shows that moral values, good, upstanding, clean, proper moral values, and legitimate judgment, are the two central factors shaping people's everyday law-related behavior, then it's no surprise we see the places like this. We've got a structure that is in place, lack moral values. You understand? If it's a sanction you, and I try to compel you, and I say you better obey Law, because it is the law, then me I say, what the nature of this force? Can you force me? You bully me. You bring earth and arm to me. And this is where you do to us as a people. It's just that I am in a position now where the most I give me this inspiration to bring it forth like this. Never going on a school to learn this thing. This is the life where me I live right now. Me have court Friday. And I mail a document to them court. You know, regular mail, you know, email. 
You know what I mean? But I'm supposed to go in there and make sure I get a, you know, this document file stamp say and leave a copy on the court so them can have it. And then I go take my copy and run go downtown and get it stamp duty and place it on the public record. And you know, just for my security and then get my certified copy and prepare myself to whatever appeal that I come after and whatever lawsuit I got initiated from all of the damage when I experience as a man. I'm going to demonstrate so the only thing these corporate agencies and them agents can interact with is the juridic entity that artificial construct they create. You get me? And they don't own anything. They are just the public trustee. But when you give them document, them should just make sure them process the information, but them tell themselves that them are gone. So irrespective of the outcome, this is how I man approach it. I now go on like me and a lawyer come and have no interest because there is no law there. The only law we know for the word of God will come out of the Bible where them say, God said. You understand? Let there be light. God said. Thou shalt not have no other God before I. First thing that. Thou shalt make no false image or worship anything like that. I go now worship all kind of imagery. Them say a ten commandments in our rules and instruction. In and the Bible, most people say, you know, basic instruction before leaving earth. So the Bible is an acronym for basic instruction before leaving earth. Again, the Bible may be construed as an acronym for the basic instruction before leaving earth. So everybody have them own twists on things. Everybody have them own perspectives. Everybody have them own point of view. And every man is entitled to them own opinion. Understand, and we now just have said this is our philosophical reasoning, or this is our opinion. We are the more than that people, don't miss it. We are demonstrate, we are shown the very information, but we are, you know, conceptualize our ideas, our ideology from the affidavit on information. And them are telling us that they have an order. Where for them law derived from? And me I say, eh, or who make that? Which God that? We don't know about them God then. We don't know about no God when we say she named Queen anything at all. We are give decree. Because we don't subject was I am Nestorian king. And when we look at beer king, we surround me. All when them don't know themselves as king. All when them don't see themselves as king. King must surround me and the equivalent in other woman form where them say queen. The one was spelled Q U E E N, not Q U E A N. God the devil always have, you know, theme pointing out there. You know. This is why you have what is known as law, and then you have what is known as legal. Separate and distinct thing, but to usurp what is lawful, them call their legality law, giving it force of law, which is actually color of law. Do not take my word for it, you know. This is what we're doing a philosophy, our way of so philosophical reasoning all day. Grassroots people, grassroots. Yeah, man, yes, yeah, so you will find the truth. I remember, you know, we not monetize. So we now solicit. We now sweet talk here for you to, you know, come give us anything and then you switch it up on we and say, no refund, you can't get your money back and all kind of thing and you still don't get the service where you require a paper. We're not doing that here. I'm on now hide. Once I know where I'm at, 
We don't know my location. Any man can send me go check the, the, the sovereign man and then look and find my location and come live with me. Or call me. And I say, watch them. I don't want you from my yard or my office. I can meet you out the street. Because not everybody know and actually entertain. Me also just open up a place for people just come in and sit in and we can't do that anymore. We cannot do that anymore. Now, I naturally, voluntarily restrict myself from associating with people now. Really? I have to literally do that? No. Yeah, man. At the end of the day, it's just like when them sent me a GP for the 45 days. You know? I, man, alone was down there. Irrespective of how my mother feel, irrespective of how my wife feel, irrespective of how my children feel, and irrespective of how all the so-called people who said them no way and affiliated with me. I was the only one down there. Yeah, man, I was the only one down there. I forgot to all I just like how Sita, Babylon moved to me again and everybody scattered. People just want to stand on me. Ask me. Like sovereign man, you take on them people, you call the people them I take you on and thing and you have to stand up. And how much people send a strength to aid you in the fight you, the battle you where you have with these foreign agencies. And I can't tell you say, from my car I get tech wet. Me a second. Zero. This is why we give thanks to our bloodline. This is why I say salute to my thin twin brother out there. Salute to my bloodline. Salute to my beautiful first lady. Them people are really matter. I will come right down to it. I tell you, no different from Christ. All of the people them will, you know, act as if they are gonna stand aside and watch you walk with a big heavy cross and get crucified and them just look. Not this man, I won't be your sacrificial lamb. We are present with information and we are stand up bold and brave, firm and strong. But this is because of the situation. And if you come talk about me, I come through not to talk to you people out there. This is why I say I am no leader for none of them. At no point I can only show the item how to choose to lead themselves. Now when I need a leader, I just look into the mirror and I chant on the most I creator. Yeah, I look to no man or the arms of man shall feel you. Yeah, you have to just hold firm to your truth. Yeah, man, stay firm and grounded to that root. That's right, there, you know. And the knowledge of the Most High Creator, everything. You hear that? The knowledge of our great spirit is everything. The knowledge of the Most High Creator, nature. Is everything. A desa, you have a truly fine power. And a desa, you have a truly fine answers. Just like how we are bust it right open and I show you so everything what them are do is against the most high creator and against the most high creator's people. This is why we in a this state of condition. Once them were sell out to those demonic forces, then now go have the problem where here a man such as I I express out them. Because them are tell themselves that they're free. Them are tell themselves that they're not in any kind of captivity. And them are tell themselves that hey, we're rich. We have a lot of money. And I will say this, it's all an illusion. Again, give thanks and praise. We are maintaining our consistency. Yeah, man. So Jamaica people, know you get a sanction independence based on coercion. 
Africa. I'm going to tell you now already, I now have a statutory instrument to create the whole organization, the whole agency, what you say. Yeah, man. And it have a, that debtor side to it, the business side to it. And this is why even this constitution, we have a party night where it has shows uh, I hope it line up properly. It has said, with effect from the commencement of this order, paragraph F, which specifies Jamaica of the definition of the territories in subsection 1 of section 2 of the British Caribbean Court of Appeal order in Council 1962 is revoked. So whatever that mean by the specific which specifies the definition so you say the move jamaica has been a territory now so it's gone somewhere else in a space <laughs> people if only you knew you are enslaved then most of you will make the effort just as I separate yourself from this demonic construct, this statutory construct. Yeah, man. A free will act, you know, and I chose to act this way, but them I say, oh, them now take that from me. Them I say, oh, me and them slave, and me I say, you judge with your name and you prosecuting court clerk with your name and the two police officers with their name are uno other held liable only because of uno conduct. Understand? I'm quite sure uno never experienced absolutely nothing like this before on the island. Yeah, man, I will now go settle. I now forgot dismiss this case and know, say, boy, you know. I now have no relief for grant. Not wait on a statutory construct. And we are saying we're not interested in it. We're not participating in it. We, by our renunciation and cancellation, that means that we're outside of it, brethren. So if we now look, the surety for red, find some other avenues, brethren. Yeah, man. Anyway, information share as usual. Out there, free people. Out there.